am Sharice Durham. I'm the Community Service Representative for Home Instead Senior Care. What exactly is Home Instead Senior Care? Home Instead Senior Care provides in-home non-medical services to seniors and disabled uh, in our community. We provide everything from basic services at the client's request from meal prep and errands and safety supervision med reminders up to 24-7 with total personal care. Um, how much work goes in? Obviously there's um, a lot of folks that, that doesn't want to go to either assisted living or, or nursing homes, how much work goes into determining if they qualify and, and, and just helping to pay for the money okay. that, that it costs for this? Well, in-home care, is, and this is why we do this, is to keep people independent in their homes if they so choose. Typically speaking, it's private pay, but a lot of people now have long-term care policies uh, that used to be called nursing home insurance, and they haven't yet realized that that has converted and can help them stay in their homes. Uh, there's also veterans benefits that cover the cost, and for those that are Medicaid eligible, there's also programs through Medicaid that help pay. Our care is provided by professional caregivers who are criminal background checked, drug free, DMV checks, six reference checks, the list goes on and on, um, but they're well supervised by an LPN as well as an RN. Uh, their skills are checked off, so they're not your average uh, friend that comes to stay. They are a professional caregiver, and as such, they uh, the RNs designate a specific care plan so that the caregivers have a specific list of tasks associated. And beyond the tasks, part of the work that goes into this is matching a caregiver with a family. Uh, sometimes it just boils down to a personality match, but when you're in your home you have to be able to trust that the people that you're allowing to come in there do have your best interest at heart and they're trustworthy and responsible and will do all those things that will enable you to keep your loved one at home and allow the family to be the family rather than the caregivers. What got you into this type of profession? Um, Several years ago, my grandfather was uh, ill. He had several things going on, and my grandmother needed help. And I found myself staying with them several nights a week to uh, help with dialysis and to help with diabetes and, and do whatever needed to be done. When he passed away, we realized that he had had a long-term care policy, and he would have been eligible to have some help uh, and my grandmother would have been eligible to have some help so that our family could have enjoyed more of the time with him rather than being caretakers. And after he passed away and we learned that, I, I switched industries because I really felt like there should be no family that goes through uh, the stress of caring for a loved one. What's some of the rewarding and, and, and some of the difficult parts about your job? Um, the most difficult parts are sometimes we don't have the answers that a family wants to hear. Um, and that being that we, we really want to say, yes, everything's going to be fun, but it's really our job to hold their hand and escort them through this journey and make them feel confident that they are doing everything they can for their loved one. The most rewarding is when we are able to pick up the phone and every phone call is probably a crisis call. Uh, but the most rewarding is being able to take those crisis calls and turn that family's struggle into a positive experience where they do get to spend time with their loved one through, through this journey. You're very involved in the local community in, in Floyd County, Rome City. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay. Um, well, I've co-chaired the Walk to End Alzheimer's for the past five years. This coming year will be our sixth year. Um, I also am active with the Greater Rome Chamber of Commerce, I'm shadowing this year's class of Leadership Rome with Ian Griffin, and next year Ian and I will be um, the uh, coordinators for the Leadership Rome class, which is a wonderful program here. Um, I'm also the secretary for the Senior Promotions Council, and Senior Promotions Council is connected to our Rome Floyd Parks and Recreation and our Mature Adult Programs, and we provide the Senior Directory every other year to help seniors navigate the resources available to them, and then we also do the annual Senior and Forum in May, held at the Forum as a uh, event for seniors. It's very uh, 
resourceful. We have a lot of vendors that come out and provide them with information and connect them to resources as, as well as just have fun. What do you do in your spare time that folks may or may not know? Uh, oh, in the spare time I ride my Harley. <laughs> Um, and most folks know that about me, though, but um, I love to ride my motorcycle, and I love to spend time with my family. Um, finally, what is it about Roman Floyd County that you, that, that you just, you love to volunteer, you love to do things, and, and you love to help out as much as you can? Um, Roman Floyd County is very unique. Uh, born and raised here and moved away for 10 years and chose to come back because of that sense of community. Uh, you, you see people step up to the plate and help each other. We have more local nonprofits that are meant to help our community than anywhere I've ever seen. And just that entire community's sense of bettering itself and understanding big picture and watching out for each other uh, is tremendous. You, you don't see that. So that's, that's probably my favorite thing about Roman Floyd County.